Hi, this is Ryan with Tremonti. Today I want to take a look at adding a menu icon to the full desktop view of the menu in DB. The icon should be able to open a pop-up window like you see with a lot of the multi-purpose themes available in um, Theme Forest. First thing that I like to do, personal preference, is get rid of the search icon in our sandbox site here. So let's just go ahead into the theme customizer and get rid of that. Next thing we'll do is we'll go into add a new post and add media. You can see I've already added the image, the hamburger menu icon. Let's insert it into the post and grab the text. Let's just make this a little bit smaller. And let's grab the text. Okay, next thing we'll want to do is go into our menus. We don't need to save this post. And we'll want to add a new menu item as a custom link. Okay, now that that's added, let's just save the menu and take a look at it on the front end. Okay, perfect. So the link that we gave it was just the hash symbol. So when we click on it, um, we're just taken right to that image itself. But we, what we'd like to do is have it open in a pop-up. And we'd also like to maybe make it look a little bit cleaner in this menu area. So couple things that I'll do. First, let's create the pop-up. For this demonstration, we're going to use Pop-up Maker, and I will have a link to that plugin. To do that, let's go ahead and create a pop-up in the All Pop-ups area. And we're just going to grab this the same information that we had in the example. Let's call it menu. We're not going to have a title and add the content of that pop-up. Let's use uh, Enterprise Blue theme. There are many out-of-the-box themes that you can choose from, but you can also create your own or um, update or customize these out-of-the-box themes to better match your theme. And here we'll have this trigger a pop-up option. Let's just select the menu. And we'll also want to modify the styling a little bit. So let's go ahead into the screen options and make sure the CSS classes box is checked. Let's just call it uh, let's see, menu icon. All right, save again. And then going back to our home page, click on the pop up, and it brings up our uh, pop up now. You can see that the images in the example were white against a white background. You won't see them, um, but you can go into the <clears throat> pop-up themes area, and we had selected Enterprise Blue. So let's just change the background to something other than white, maybe a light gray. And you can always preview it in here before you actually go to the front end of your site. All right, refresh again. Perfect. Now, one thing, well, two things actually of note is typically these are a little bit further away from the menu. Um, I also like to have uh, the full width menu shown 
when I'm using one of these, which is the case here. So you can see that the menu spans just about the entire length of the page, width of the page. So if we want to do that, we go back in the theme customizer. Header and navigation and make full width. A couple last things that we'll do. We added a class called menu icon and in our child theme or in the theme options area, custom CSS, we'll just add a couple things to make it look slightly better. Um, I recommend using your child theme for this, but if you don't have one, just go into the custom CSS box. We'll add a couple things here. The first one, just to separate the image or icon from the rest of the menu a little bit more. And then the second thing is when you have the uh, mobile menu look, this appears in the mobile menu. That's a little too cluttered. So what we'll do is just hide it entirely from the menu, mobile menu um, once it breaks down to that breakpoint, uh, which is 1200. So uh, <clears throat> anything under 1200 pixels, the menu icon will not display. Right, after we save changes, let's go back. And you can see that there's a little bit more space here. You can adjust the margins as you like. And then when you go into the mobile menu, the hamburger icon no longer displays. All right, let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else demonstrated in DV uh, that you can't find somewhere else or if you want me to find something. This has been Ryan with Trimani. Thank you. And